Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. Today I want to share my post burn review of Eddie's leather jacket with you all. I haven't watched the Stranger Things show, but I'm definitely a fan of this second round of releases. To me, the fragrances as well as the packaging are much better than the first release, but that's just my unpopular opinion. I like when Bath & Body Works creates textured labels for some of their candle releases. I believe Pink Rose and Leather and Midnight Cocktails had the same type of leathery feel to their labels, which fits the vibe and aesthetics for fragrances like this one. I like how the overall color fits that of a black leather jacket, which goes with the whole bike club theme, and I like how the back of the candle features the name of the bike club. So you can actually enjoy burning this candle with either side of the label showing. The scent story states vintage leather and rock and roll vibes. The scent notes are black leather, soft musk, and smoked suede. The overall scent profile of this candle leans into the masculine leathery category. However, it isn't too masculine to where a woman couldn't enjoy this fragrance as well. On cold and while the candle is lit, this is a soft and smooth leather scent that is pretty straightforward and basic, but the overall scent blend is pleasant and has a quality smell to it. The leather note doesn't smell cheap and it smells rich and authentic. Both the musk and suede works together in adding a smooth texture to the scent while also softening up the leather note to where it isn't too strong or heavy of a dominating leather fragrance. If you're someone who usually strays away from scents like this, then I would say this candle makes a nice starter scent for trying something different and stepping a little outside of your comfort zone. While suede is a type of leather, to my nose, suede accords tend to be more on the soft, subtle, and musky side with a velvety finish. While leather accords are more fresh, robust, and pronounced, due to the sweet, slightly earthy, slightly smoky tones that it has while still having a rich and smooth fragrance quality to it. The musk note in this candle is a pretty one that is warm, soft, sweet, and almost leans floral. It doesn't turn the fragrance fresh and powdery how some musk notes do in certain fragrances, and it blends well with the other two animalic scent notes, creating an overall rich, smooth, subtle leather fragrance. It's masculine, but pretty at the same time. This candle comes with thin core wicks that are performing great. I'm not experiencing an excessive amount of soot and the wax pool is still clean. I'm not experiencing any wick issues or issues with the pullout time, so so far the burn quality is good. This candle is a mid-range performer in a closed concept. In a hurricane, I rate the strength and throw at a solid 7 out of 10 and without a hurricane, I rate it a 6 out of 10. The scent isn't overpowering nor is it too light for me to notice it while I'm present in the room with it lit or when walking in and out of the room. This is a really pleasant and well blended leather scent that is soft, smooth, luxurious, and sexy without trying too hard. If you don't mind a mid-range room filling scent then I say give this one a try. If you need a more stronger leather dominating scent you may want to pass on this or you could purchase two to burn at the same time. I'm good with enjoying mine in my bedroom in a hurricane and I feel it's repurchase worthy. It's the perfect scent to wind down to during the evening. It's a great mood setting scent and it's warm and cozy enough to get comfy and either read a good book or watch a good movie while this is lit. Leave me a comment below letting me know how you feel about this candle and I will catch you all in the next video.